it's, a, it's still a small company. It's a beautiful company. I wouldn't call it as a, a, a mega giant, but yes, meaningful from an impact mm -hmm. point of view. And uh, yes, when we uh, uh, sign and we uh, uh, collectively agreed that we will create this amazing company, that we said that we'll close within Q4 and Q1 uh, this year. Q4 last year, Q1 this year. Here we are in Q1. And yes, we're going to be closing mm -hmm. uh, in Q1 uh, this year. In this, in this quarter, uh, we had an extraordinary good dialogue with the European authorities. As you mentioned, it's the only little pending moving uh, from conditional approval that the European authorities have already provided to final approval. We have the approval from US, from UK, from Korea, from South Korea, from China, from Brazil, from Turkey, from all the countries. We are ready. We also have prepared ourselves ready. We have been working very diligently during this year to create all the building blocks to start the new company in day one. We have Nova, the Nisus. Nova Nisus. Now, what does this rebrand reflect? We're creating a new company. And uh, Novo Nisus, it just reflects exactly that message. It's a new beginning. Nisus from Genesis. Mm -hmm. It's a new start. It's a company that is based also on life, from the regional of life. Genesis, Nisus also brings the connotations of science from the regional uh, Greek of science. So Novo Nisus is the company to play, the company to co-create, the company that's going to start or bring the era of biosolutions here to stay. Well, let's get down to the nitty gritty here, because obviously yeah. you're an ingredients company, right? Mm -hmm. you, know, you have enzymes, you create all kinds of uh, industrial enzymes, microorganizations, biopharmaceutical ingredients, I could go on. Food systems globally contribute about a third of the global greenhouse gas yeah. emissions. It's a real problem. We've seen a collapse in biodiversity because of modern intensive agricultural methods. What can you do from your side to help this? We are part of the answer of the future. Our solutions, they're based on nature, they're inspired on nature. They are enzymes, microbes, proteins, as you say, they are per se biodegradable. We're present in agricultural, bringing sustainable agricultural, replacing pesticides and fertilizers with enzymes and microbes. Mm -hmm. We're present in animal field nutrition, enhancing the yield and uh, decreasing the emissions. We are, we are uh, present also and a big enabler of plant-based nutrients. There is a increasing double need of protein demand. The protein demand will double in the next years. And you will need, yes, meat and yes, uh, chickens and cows, but we will also need more alternatives for plant-based solutions. Enzymes, protein, have our solutions. They enable the health, the texture, the nature. So we are part of enabling, all, also bring solutions for pr food preservation and extend the life chain. So across all areas, we're part of the future of a healthy nutrients and sustainable I'm nutrients. hearing bioengineering in there somewhere, right? How are you using AI? We are uh, heavily using AI. I mean, as I mentioned, our solutions are in nature, but then to get them from nature to scale, that requires a lot of testing, a lot of prototype, a lot of uh, uh, trial and also error. Uh, advanced analytics accelerate that process in a significant way. Today, through the use of advanced analytics, we can predict from the amino acid chain so, uh, the 3D dimension of the protein. The, uh, the 3D, the, the f shape of the proteins, what defines the activity. This process, before it could take six months to one year, mm -hmm. today, through advanced analytics, it can be done in minutes. Amazing. That's a huge breakthrough to accelerate the development and brings again the solutions for the future. But you didn't say end errors just for no reason. So what have you found as being the hiccups in implementing AI? Well, uh, uh, we have to learn on how to use it. You need to bring in a smart data. Mm -hmm. And most importantly, you have to understand the implications and the need for the market too. We're also using AI to capture the leads from the market and translate them into the precious uh, uh, concept that to fit R&D on where to focus the energy. Mm -hmm. There is also a, a respectful use of using AI, and that we take very consciously too. Do you feel that the biosciences industry is getting the support it needs, the nurturing that it needs here in Europe, as say compared to other places like the United States? I feel, and I know, it's not I feel, that we are going to be a stronger enabler of the solutions of the future. I know that the solutions are ready. Regulation is not ready. Mm -hmm. We still, we treat bio-based solutions that they are degradable and absorbable by nature in the path of the chemical process, chemical alternatives. And that hinders the speed of the penetration and creates unnecessary roadblocks. It takes six years in Europe to register a microbe to replace a fertilizer. In US, you can do it with two years. Mm -hmm. um, we talk about plant-based protein and ingredients that can give uh, food and nutrition. It also creates unnecessary roadblocks. So you need red, red tape to 
decrease. What we need, and this also talks with responsibility from uh, us companies, to sit together with authorities and help co-create how good looks like. So it's not only about complaining, it is about sitting at the table and create the path for a regulation that does not create unnecessary roadblocks.